You know, I love days like this where two worlds kind of come together for years. I've heard um, Deborah talk about Danae. Danae, 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 one of her best friends. And I've also heard the term the vintage Contessa, the vintage Contessa, the vintage. Well, guess what? Today, the vintage Contessa is Danae, <laughs> and I'm finally meeting her. And we're here in your showroom. Um, it's the vintage Contessa in time past. And we're talking about fall trends. We're talking about how to uh, spot a fake, how to keep keep uh, good care of the stuff that you do have. Super excited to meet you. In the little time that we've spent this morning, I already feel like I've known you forever. And yes, so, it's been such a great connection. Such a great connection. Okay, so we're gonna start off real fast um, with the showroom. Yes. So how long has this been here? We have been in this location for almost 20 years. What? And I didn't come on board until 2011 full time, but Rob goes all the way back to starting to collect coins when he was just a little boy at five. And Rob is her husband, yes. who we're actually gonna meet here in a second. Yes. Okay. We've always been a wholesale showroom and really focused on doing shows internationally. And with the Vintage Contessa, we wanted to become more of a retail arm of the business. And now we share a name when we've always shared a location. That is so neat. Yeah, well, I, I love it. You walk in here, it smells good. It smells like leather and all the nice things. All right, so we're gonna start off with, with fall trends, which yes. we've got uh, some over here. So take Well, the miniature it. is back. There is always a trend. You should really just do what works for you, but I think it's a great fun thing, especially for little munchkins, but this is the uh, bag that's called the TPM Evelyn. There's a larger Evelyn. This is the baby size. And of course, the most coveted bag in the world, the Hermes yeah. Birkin. I know, I'm like, can I hold it? I'll just pretend for a moment. It's so beautiful. Very and that's cute, the it's other great fun, size. That's the other fun thing about our store is so many places that sell luxury don't let you come in and hold it and touch it. And when you come to visit with us, you get to play with it and Instagram it and show all your friends yeah. that you have one. Uh-huh. And then all these little Chanel bags. Yes, the great little Chanel's and then the monogram Louis and a little wallet. So oftentimes these are more of an accessory just to accessorize your outfit and you could put your perfume and your lipstick and your credit card and just hold your phone, which many of us do at parties anyway. Yes. So we move on to more of the playful bags. This was a bag from a recent collection of Chanel. It's the cigar bag from the Havana collection. And it's so collectible, very few were made. Backpacks are really popular, but this one has the Louis Vuitton limited edition with the cool painting on it. And this is repurposed scarves. Mm -mm. So many brands are embracing sustainability. And so the great thing about this is it's pre-owned and it was made from discarded scraps. And it's a fabulous Hermes bag. The new trend, as I mentioned before, Louis Vuitton is painting on their bags. So many designers are. And I'm working with a local artist, her name is Han of Han Gallery, and she's customizing these amazing pieces. We did a collaboration with our friend at Macaroons by Patisse, and this is one of the pieces we designed for that collaboration together. But you can take an old bag that maybe even has a spot on it that you wouldn't use, you can add your initials to it, mm -hmm. which Louis Vuitton and Goyard allow that, but they don't do it after you've purchased it. Right. This way you can do whatever design you want. But I guess the scary thing for people when they buy bags that are pre-owned is they want to know that they're authentic. Right. And that you've got some really cool tips um, on how to tell. We do. Specifically on a Louis Vuitton, there's a lot of things that we look for, but the main thing is the patina on the bag. The patina on the bag will sh have more of a discoloring that, again, looks like a patina. Also, there will be wear on the bag, but the stitching will be still consistent and in one line. Another odd thing when you do it for so long is the smell of a bag. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just smell it and you know that it doesn't smell right. Right. We have all of those delineated on our website and there's things that we can tell you about if you come in. Awesome. Well, thank you. Okay, so earlier we had mentioned um, your husband, Rob. We're gonna bring him in right now to talk about 
time pieces and all the things. Men men need to appreciate um, nice things as well. So let's bring in Rob. Well, keeping a lady happy is always a good thing. They say happy wife, happy life. Yeah. But with our watches, um, predominantly what we sell are men's watches, even to women. As I, women. I love the big, bold, chunky. It is. It's a great fashion look right now. And also you can see the time easy. So this was what, nice when sweet. we were kids, our fathers or grandparents would wear a man's president. But that is a fun watch on a woman right now. Yes. And when you hit your late 20s, like you are, you know, you can see them better. <laughs> Good one. I see why you married him. But we carry all brands of watches, mm -hmm. mostly pre-owned, because there's no reason to buy brand new when you can buy a, a pre-owned one from us. We give a couple year warranty on them, make sure everything is right and um, saves you a lot of money. Very that way you can buy more watches. Yeah, exactly, and that's what it's all about. Or, or more stuff for your wife. Sometimes more is better, right? right yes. Guys? Okay, well thank you for having me and it was so nice to meet both of you. And for everything you saw, if you wanna get connected with these two, you can go to greatdayhouston.com. All right, now I'm ready to play.